Welcome to Redigging the Wells, session four. And today, my word is feed. When I was young, I went to a Bible week hosted by my local church. And one of the things I remember about that was a song which was all about feeding on the word of God. And in particular, there was a line which was something like, not eating crumbs, but loaves instead. Last week I was talking about dwellings. There is a way to just really chew those small morsels and get every last thing you can out of them. But also an important spiritual practice is to read larger chunks as well. If you just read verse by verse, scatter row the Bible, you don't understand the big picture. But a lot of these things were written to be read in larger chunks. The letters were written to be read out as letters to a whole congregation. And I think in some of the other books, so for example, in the book of Acts, there's a lot of repetition, which suggests actually it was designed not just to be read, written down, but to be spoken and heard. So find ways that you can take chunks of the Bible at a time as well. You might, for example, take a letter like 1 Thessalonians and read it from start to end. Or if reading is not really your thing, well, today there are wonderful resources. There are lots of online Bibles. We're exploring with an ASTAD online Bible, which is quite incomplete at the moment. But if you go to a site like the Bible Gateway, you can listen in a lot of translations to whole books. You can just press play and let it run through for you. Take on large sections. Think about them as a whole, not just what's each individual verse or each individual word saying, but what's the whole message. That's a good way to make sure that you grow up strong and healthy. Feed on the word of God.